next in Allison on a White House security breach. A federal grand jury today indicted Omar Gonzalez, the man accused of jumping that White House fence and making it into the East Room. The indictment comes after new details emerged about just how close the suspect got to the first family. Today, the Secret Service director was in the hot seat on Capitol Hill answering tough questions about security failures. Senior political reporter Scott Thuman is live on Capitol Hill with the details. Scott. Uh, Leon, we witness a lot of public skewerings up here in hearings on the Hill. This one absolutely ferocious. Director Pearson getting hammered on all sides in a lot of subjects. One, about the fact that the White House fence jumper didn't just make it inside the north doors, but actually now we understand did make it all the way into the east room. Secondly, that the Secret Service denied at first that he had a weapon on him. Later learning, of course, that he had a knife and really taking a beating on that incident back in 2011 when the White House was successfully shot multiple times but agents didn't really realize it until days later when a housekeeper found some broken glass. The American people want to know if there is a president safe. I hate to even imagine what could have happened if Gonzalez had been carrying a gun. Don't let somebody get close to the president. Don't let somebody get close to his family. Don't let them get in the White House, ever. If there was ever a hot seat on the Hill, Secret Service Director Julia Pearson was in it, defending the revelations via a whistleblower that Omar Gonzalez, armed with a knife, not only made it across the lawn and inside, but also barreled over an officer and all the way through the East Room before being tackled. This is unacceptable, and I take full responsibility, and I will make sure that it does not happen again. Should agents have connected the dots on Gonzalez? An arrest two months earlier in which he had rifles and a map highlighting the White House. A month after that, walking the perimeter with a hatchet. And why didn't agents shoot him before he could get inside? How does the officer know if they have an improvised explosive device or dirty bomb or, or if it's a terrorist? Law enforcement officers are trained in observation skills. It is, however, just the latest in a string of almost annual incidents that have sullied the reputation. Pearson admitted today in 2011 agents heard incoming fire at the White House from a gunman, but were told to stand down that it was just a car backfiring, days later realizing they were wrong. Is that true? Did, did a housekeeper find evidence of, of, of the shooting and your agents did not? A perimeter sweep was done. Was it as thorough as it needed to be? Evidently Obviously not. not. All right, well, the counter to much of this argument on this latest incident, it was uh, debated today, is had they shot Gonzalez, would they have been criticized? Would the argument have been you killed a military veteran suffering from PTSD who, in that case only, and that was their term, only had a three and a half inch knife on him? So that is the opposite. Now, coming up tonight at 6 o'clock, we are going to talk with a former Secret Service agent who protected the president. He will discuss what he says is the real problem here. Live on Capitol Hill tonight, Scott Thuman, ABC 7 News. Wow.